Ein Solisunum. This is another drift. Oh, what fun will we have today? You know what? I had someone request a stealth run. With the pulse weapon, a specter run, I should say. Shockwave or siphon? Let's try siphon. Of course, we'll need the specter to actually try a specter run. Feels so slow to cloak. That is not the kind of specialization we want. I will take the larger blast radius, though. Go ahead and get the rupture. It's a little early, though mines, hmm. Mines would be a way for me to do damage to enemies without breaking cloak. Something I have to consider. Sometimes, even if you're not really in stealth for very long, just having them lose track of you is worthwhile. I do want that stabilization and the rapid fire. I'll take the stabilization first. That way we can do a little bit of maneuvering without breaking our stealth. Everyone, I need you to explode close together so you detonate each other without killing me. Can you do that for us? Oh, almost. There we go. It's a little early for a quam decoherence, I think, and we are not going to take a rampage. Guess it is agility then. Go ahead and get the strafe, I suppose. Don't mind me, just sitting here. Could go ahead and look for apotheosis. Bit of an aggressive start, but... Ooh, what fun. There it is. 20% less hull and shields, but now we can just fly right through most enemies. Unless they have a shield themselves. Of course, they can still attack through it. Hmm, that would be another option. Get an ally and let them fire our weapons for us, but... That feels less in the spirit of the challenge. There's mine specialization, so I guess I get it. Of course, it won't actually be a loaded mine until we get mines proper as an upgrade. And of course, loaded mines. But the bigger blast radius from mines is something worthwhile. Now, evolutionary niche means faster cloaking and more damage when we fire from cloak. 
That's tempting, but I think I just want everything in skirmish. But it is tempting. I think this is a safer play, though. Now, this is a question. Do we want Juggernaut? More hull helps make up for our apotheosis. But we don't care about crash damage, of course. And it is a significant reduction to our thrust. If we go Essence Sap, I think it'll be worth it. Yeah, we're still decently fast just because of the... Excuse me, just because of the... Da, 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 strafe and stabilization, which did give us some thrust increase. So it's not as bad a hit as it might have been. I like the Terminate, I like Mines. I'm going to take the Terminate though because we are about to fight good old friend Omega here. And we're going to need it. Omega shouldn't be as big of a challenge for us because, well, we can zip right on through Omega's walls. Some of the normal limitations we face with this enemy aren't quite the same. Unfortunately, we can't phase right through its attack. I think I definitely take the shield cooldown here. We're going to need all the help we can get on that front. Not too bad. Like the improved thrust and the defiance, but we really should get these mines going. Twin strike, not so interested in due to it really only affecting the secondary projectiles, not the primary ones. We're already so slow, I don't think we want a grandeur. I will take the magnitude, however. More damage, a little bit more blast radius, that's fine. That's fine. And with these mines, charge shot is more tempting for the obvious enough reasons that we can get charged mines in. Would like the volatile shields, increase shields, but I'll go payload, then look for the charge shot. Seeing the strike, another reason maybe to have taken that juggernaut. Speaking of, bigger blast radius, weapon size, and damage. Seems like something we'd like with a pulse weapon. Or pretty much any weapon, really. Yeah, that hurts. That hurt a lot. Wait for our shield to come out before we do any more attacks. Ooh, force armor, improved thrust. I take the improved thrust here because that will help us maneuver. Get out of some of these situations. Or maybe get into them even faster. Could be a bit of both. Truth be told. Wouldn't mind that essence sap again. Review friends.
Uh, it must be frustrating being designed to hit an enemy and then they can just go through. I'd like to increase shields and the deadly wake, but orbs of discord. That's a way for us to attack enemies without breaking our stealth, and that seems like a good idea to me. Don't have a lot of wild mods to work with it, admittedly, but even the base ones. Even the base ones are pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good. Hmm, take the essence sap. Rapid fire, force armor. I think I take this essence sap. Not too shabby. You again. Charge shot for the charged mines. Ellen construction would be another way of helping our mines get out faster and do a little bit more damage, hopefully. Just because they can charge up longer, but... I think we want this charge shot. Go ahead and charge it up a bit. I don't actually know which would be better here. The stealth bonus or the charge shot bonus. I don't know which adds up to more. In this particular circumstance. Yeah, that was not ideal. All right, got rid of them fairly quickly, not amazingly so. Ooh, I love that revelation, but do we need these load mines right now? What do we even take with a revelation? Actually, Galvanic. As much as we depend on our shield, Galvanic would be amazing. I hate delaying that loaded mine, though. But this is the rare option, and we do have Orbs of Discord, so maybe it'll add up. Maybe. Wave 65. On our way to war. Yeah, we do need those loaded mines if we want to make a big enough impact, but this galvanic times three, more shield effect power, so it does more damage. And of course, the revenge attacks whenever it's struck. That could help us a lot. That could help us a lot. For example, like it did right there. Okay, minefield mostly dealt with. Okay, this is going to be challenging. Just going to go into the middle of them and 
detonate our bomb. I'd love to get these shields, but there's loaded mines, and we really, really need to get those loaded mines. So that we can justify all of these expenses. But yeah, this will help us do a lot more damage and give us more time in stealth mode. And we like that. Now we just need to get the charge shot so we can get them really set up. And so that I don't have to break stealth as often to charge up. Since I rather feel obligated to do so right now. There we are. Now the mines do self damage as they charge up, but once they charge up fully and detonate, they do a lot more damage to the enemy. Which is usually going to be a good trade off for us. Yeah, sure, we'll just get all of that. It's fine. Retribution, you say? Hmm. Well, I guess that went well. I mean, it could have gone better. But overall, I'd say it did it. It's okay. I'd say it did okay. Hello, Comet. Lovely to see you. How's the weather? The kids, the family, all the good stuff. Now, I do need you to um, not be near me when you detonate. That is a bit of an issue. I do want Deadly Wake just for another source of damage. Don't know where that enemy is. Where could they be? It's a great mystery. Who knows? I certainly don't. Hmm. Maybe we'll find out one day. Yeah, that's the kind of thing we have to worry about, though. Hidden power is not going to happen. I'll take the blink, though. Gives us another way to maneuver without necessarily breaking stealth. Come here. Come closer. <laughs> Just making a quick stop over for some. Experience crystal thingamajiggers. Hmm. Bigger shield effect isn't bad. Do I want polar inversion though? Bigger blast radius, however, it does reverse the pull and push them. So it will pull enemies into the explosion, which could be a bad thing. On the other hand, the nice thing about apotheosis is at least crash damage is not as con a big concern. Now, other kinds of damage definitely will be. Well, it's not a perfect system by any means, but maybe it'll allow us to kill a few more enemies. Oh, 
All right, Seraph. Once again, who knows where that enemy is? I certainly don't. Yeah, I'll just I'll just stay here. Let you be near me, my absorption shield, siphoning away your health and all the other good stuff. You need to try to stay away from that, though. <laughs> that was a bit much. Could have gone better. It wasn't as good as our war fight, but it usually isn't. War. It's usually easier when you can have weapons that get up close and break up all the little bits and bobs. And with Rupture, we definitely have that. Another Galvanic would be nice, but I think I take this Displacement. Our Blink cooldown is reduced. We get some more knockback, more damage. and leapfrog back and forth. Not too bad. Ouch. That was painful. We really don't want other constructs running around, do we? No, probably not. Absorption's not horrible here. I do like volatile shields and force armor. More shields and we do damage when our shield breaks. That's probably going to be helpful. We do actually need our shield to come back though so we can utilize it. Not mean to be right there. Funny that you survived, Shoulder, but you know what? I'll take it. We're getting to a high enough level that our cloak comes up fairly quickly now, which is certainly good. Some of these ways would be much more difficult without that. Oh, poor Bulwark. You really did not know what was going on there. I'll take the rate of fire increase that helps us and our minds get us our minds to charge up faster so they can do more damage more quickly in case they get... hit soon after they're deployed. Don't mind me, I'm just going this way. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh boy. I'm trying to do this a little faster. Oops, hello. And I have a cat up here. Goodbye, cat. Uh, I'll take a burst fire, sure. Makes it a bit more of a high risk, high reward situation for us firing our weapon, but it does help our mines charge faster. Now, how did we get... I, I need to figure out, since I'm using Apotheosis, where exactly that attack starts. Because I assumed I was close enough to the center there not to get pushed around by it. But that was not, in fact, the case. I very much was pushed around by it. So I need to... Uh, need to consider that that attack may be coming further back than I thought it was in the ship. And by ship, I mean the bulwark, of course. Hmm. Burst fire may not have been a good idea here. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought it would be to re-engage our cloaking. Yeah, that fire delay is causing our cloak to take longer to engage than I would like. Mm. Try to remember that next time. Burst fire, not a good idea. We'll take the improved shields up. Well, when it works, it works well. When it doesn't work, it's horrifyingly slow. Not sure how to account for that in terms of play style, but we'll see what we can do. Yeah, it does make me want to just take Overseer now. Get rid of all this actually firing your weapon business and just let the mines take care of it. Ah, thank you, Rupture. And Terminate, of course. Don't forget our good friend Terminate. Okay, that wasn't too bad. This part's going to be too bad. Take the mastery, a little bit more damage, and rate of fire, and all that other good stuff. And that is a singularity. I'm not going to try to stay still in that one. Yep, you can go down, down, down that drain. I'm not going to stop you. Quite the opposite. Yeah, that delay with burst fire. Too much. You don't want burst fire with Spectre ever again. Probably. Not unless I'm going to go Overseer, I suppose. And then not worried about such. Reflexive Shields is another okay one. Do a little damage to enemies that damage us, get a little bit more max hold. Not max hold, max shields. That's the thing. Ouch, ouch. Once again, Singularity, you can have whatever you want. I'm just going to be over here minding my own business.
Okay. Good on you, running into those mines so well. you go this way a bit. Excellent. Oh, that's a big one. That's a very big one. Once again, try not to get too close to the middle because I don't know where that revenge attack actually originates in the body. Hmm. In a different world, I would actually take the Omni Shield. But we've invested so much elsewhere. Plus, I did like the Singular Strikes, larger radius. Could take Aegis. All right, we'll take the Aegis. Gives us a little bit more survivability. And once again, it's something we can use Blink and the like with stabilization. And it won't remove our stealth mode. We'll just stay invisible to the enemy. Mostly. Yeah, this is the part where I say, well, that's, that's fine, I'll... I'll let you know where I am just so I can shoot you better. That was a lot of exploding. That was quite a bit of exploding. Uh, I was wondering, where's the next wave? Gotta be around here somewhere. Happily take all that experience, thank you kindly. Bigger shield radius is not horrible here. I'll go with it. Also increases shield effect power. We can do a little bit more damage to nearby enemies. Probably not going to matter as much as it would have earlier in the game, but I guess every little bit helps. is another singularity. I can't help but notice. Here to eat my experience as usual. Well, so goes. Sometimes they help you, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they hurt you, sometimes they don't. It is the circle of life. The, the singularity of its thing. No, I suppose not. I seem to remember some astrophysics documentary that talked about how they would be gravitationally distorted if they were rotating quickly or something or another. I can't say astrophysics is my biggest hobby. But it sounds pretty neat to me. 
I need you to uh, run into these mines after they've had a little bit of time to charge. Don't run into them right away. They don't do as much damage. Just give them a second. Oh dear. Uh, that's a lot of exploding going on. Not exactly how I wanted that to go, but again, we have to take what we can get. Ooh. That would be faster cloaking, but I don't know if I want that. This is decent. Emergency systems would also be nice. What else would I really want, though? Phantom Strike is never going to trigger. Faster mine construction, maybe? I'm just trying to get away from that. I really should try to do these runs earlier, just because they they feel a bit longer, and I'm sure they are a bit longer, because you spend more time in stealth, you don't have to be quite so quick when it comes to killing enemies. But at the same time, my energy level certainly starts dropping, and not just energy level, my ability to pay attention the things start dropping. And that can be a bit of a worry. Right. Well, at least we got some experience. <laughs> All right, that, that did okay. Let's say you just need to move a little bit more to the right and you'll you'll be fine. Same here. Could you just move a little bit more to the middle? Ooh, that hurt. And of course, then they gave us even more Jonauts. What else would they do? How can I get close enough to this nonsense to get some more mines in? Hey, that's... Okay, you took care of one of them for us. Comment, thank you. Just gonna have to dash in a bit, I suppose. Ah, you thought about charging, you thought about it. Mm -hmm. 
Now that's interesting, a maelstrom. That could be actually very useful for us. Once again, Singularity doing a lot of our work for us, so I guess I shouldn't complain about the experience I'm losing. Hmm. Oop. Trying to avoid that nonsense. Let me discharge turrets. I do like how they just fire in a straight line pattern everywhere near them. Into these little, yeah, little starfishy pattern. It's kind of neat. It's a nice touch. Alright, orbs. Take care of this for me, would you? Thank you for your help, Comet. A lot of my mines are too far to the edge. Well, maybe if it runs into them, it won't be. Okay, I need you to come this way. Would you mind? Oh dear. Alright, I'm... Yeah, I'm going to lay a mine right here. And then you're going to run into it, right? That's our little arrangement, Seraph. I'm going to leave a few mines here. Uh, okay, good. All's right with the world. Kind of, sort of. Now, you laying mines is cheating. I copyrighted this. Trademarked it, copyrighted it, patented it. You will be hearing from my attorneys. Okay, I'm going to try to stay over here for a little bit. Yeah, come over here. There we go. Finally. Maelstrom, help me out, please. And you certainly did. Uh, Jarnots. Jarnots with a shield. Even better. I always tell myself, you know what? Jarnots just aren't tanky enough as is. We need something to make them a little bit tougher. And so the developers gave them shields. Or at least shielders that will then give them shields. Which is close enough for my purposes. Okay, that mine may detonate eventually one day. There we go. Just going to try to let Essence Sap carry us a bit here. <laughs> yeah. I thought that might happen. a 1.3 score run 
That's not horrible. Definitely been a while since I've tried a Spectre build like that. That's fun. Thank you for the suggestion. I have to remember to give credit to that if I can. I try to remember to give credit, but by the time I upload things, it doesn't always stick in my memory to actually include it in the draft. Ah, well. Any event, as always, thank you all for stopping by.